Throw me my drugs. Yeet. Okay. Goodbye. Settling. Like me. On to the video. Hey, hi, hello, my name is Tay, and today I'm going to talk about some aromantic slash asexual friendly book recommendations. If you don't know what aromantic or asexual means, a very generalized, simple explanation of it that obviously doesn't cover everyone's feelings and everyone's experiences with it, aromantic basically means not getting any romantic attractions to anyone, and asexual means not getting any sexual attractions to anyone. This flag is the ace flag, because I am ace. I am biromantic asexual. There's your coming out of the day. Wow. Coming out emotional, not clickbait. So the reason why I'm doing this, partly, is because I have a friend who's aromantic asexual, and we were talking once about how little aro and ace rep there is in media, especially aromantic, and my friend told me what's sometimes more important to them than having physically aromantic and or asexual characters is having media that's aromantic friendly, meaning media that is not romance heavy or doesn't have romance at all, because there are lots of books that have like good queer rep or have ace characters or a row characters that still have like sex scenes in them or still have a lot of romance and my friends specifically at least just never really liked getting into that because they just didn't like reading it it's like me trying to read an erotica book it's just probably not gonna work out so i thought that i would do a recommendation video based on some books that i think are more aromantic asexual friendly that have little to no romance because i feel like we don't talk about those books enough and i feel like we need more books that don't have romance in them because it's not essential for life, you know? I tried to pick mostly YA books because middle grade tends to have more books that don't have romance in them so it's a little easier to find. I didn't pick much adult books just because I haven't read a lot of adult books. Um, but yeah, and some of these I have not actually read. I'm basing them off of other people talking about if there was no romance or not. So those books, if I was wrong and there is romance, please tell me down below. And if you have more book recs, please, please, please put them down below. Let's just make a giant list of all of the Aero friendly books so that our fellow Aeros and Aces can read more books and feel more comfy. Yay! The first book I'm recommending is one of my favorite books of all time, and this is Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. So the last time I talked about this book, I accidentally, just trying to summarize the plot or like the synopsis of it, I took like seven minutes. So we're not going to do that this time. We're going to be short. So this is a YA contemporary novel about this girl named Frances, who is your typical straight A, school obsessed senior in high school. I don't know if that's what it's called in the UK where she lives, but she becomes friends with this boy named Aled and they make a podcast together called Universe City. Universe City, haha, I get it. And she starts to realize more about herself and what she really wants to be and what she really wants to do and kind of letting her true self blossom. Okay, that's the summary. <laughs> this book, on top of having very good overall queer up, there's a bi character, there are gay characters, there's a demisexual character, which is awesome because I I never ever get to see demisexual rep on page, so that was awesome. The point of me picking this book is that there is basically no romance in this book at all. The two main characters, Francis and Oled, never fall in love. They're just friends. They never even really consider um dating each other um which was a really nice subversion of that trope for me the only romance in the book really is that there are two boys who were dating um but it doesn't really show anything with them the most i remember is like i think it showed them being like gently affectionate like kind of sitting close together or holding hands and there was one scene where they were like discussing their relationship or something like that but i don't think it ever got explicit i'm positive that there wasn't ever like like a sex scene or like a big kiss scene. I can't remember if they like even mentioned anything like that with their relationship. If they did and someone remembers that, put that down below. But from what I remember, that doesn't really happen and overall the book is just very not focused on romance at all and I think that's a very good book if you want to read something without romance. The next book is a middle grade book and it is City of Ghosts by V.E. Schwab. This book follows this girl named Cassidy who almost drowned in a river, or she kind of did drown in a river. Um, she got saved by this ghost named Jacob and now she can see through the veil into the land of ghosts and can see ghosts. And she's connected to her new best friend Jacob, that they're kind of 
tied together. And she goes to Edinburgh with her parents, who are ironically ghost hunters, and is trying to figure out more about her powers and not get into danger. Fun times. Um, this book does not have any romance, um, except for like her parents are married and I think they maybe kiss once or something or like say something affectionate but I literally don't know if that ever happens but yeah there's no romance in this it's all about friendship that's a that's a good middle grade book I would recommend if you're looking for some middle grade that has no romance and still a fun plot and is by a very popular author the next book I am recommending is Binti by Nnedi Okorafor. This is a novella trilogy. I'm specifically talking about the first one, but I think all three would be good for this recommendation. It follows our main character, Bitti, who is the first of her people to get accepted into this really prestigious university on another planet. But on the way to the university, their ship gets attacked and she has to try to survive and get to the university without getting, you know, killed. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't remember there being any romance in this book. I'm, there's definitely not any romance in the first book. I don't think there's any romance in the second or third. There might be a little bit in the second or third, but if there was, it was definitely small enough that I didn't notice it. So yeah, I would recommend it. It's a really fun time, and they're also really all really short. The longest of the trilogy, I think, is like 200 something pages, so you can breeze through this quickly, especially in audiobook. Try them out. The next one, I'm pretty positive works. For this recommendation. If it doesn't, someone tell me down below because I haven't read this book in a little bit. But this book is Every Heart of Doy by Seanan McGuire. In this world, um, unhappy children can find these doors that they can open and walk through into other magical universes and planets um, where they feel happier, but a lot of them get sent back and they feel kind of lost and so a lot of them get sent to this school where they can be true about how they feel and kind of cope with the sorrow of being torn away from what they consider to be their home. And they also have to deal in this book specifically with a murder and it kind of has a mystery around it trying to figure out what happened. As far as I remember from reading this book, and I read this book like a year or two ago, there's no romance in it. I know the main character is asexual so I know that they didn't have any sort of thing. There might have been a scene or something that had romance but I definitely thought that it was not romance heavy um that that was not the purpose of it at all so I would gently recommend that you go on there this is definitely a good one for asexual um people if you don't like just don't want like sex scene or thing like that it definitely doesn't have that um but someone might have to confirm for me if this is in fact very aero friendly I think it is but I'm not 100% positive the last book I am recommending that I have read so far is one that I have in print aren't we all surprised? And that is A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. This book is about a boy whose mother has cancer and this monster starts showing up at his window every night and telling him stories and in turn he wants the hardest thing of all, the truth. This is a very <laughs> impactful and kind of sad story. Every time I've gone back and read especially the ending of this book, I've cried. Every time I think I won't, and every time I do. But yeah, this has absolutely no romance at all. There's not even like a parent romance or anything, like it is just about this boy and him dealing with his mother's cancer and the monster stories and all of that kind of stuff. So very, very good for this kind of recommendation and also just a wonderful story in general please read it if you can get a hold of the print it has really beautiful drawings like i'm gonna try to find a good one like there's some like this see how pretty that is you'll have pictures like this and even on ones where there isn't a full picture they'll sometimes just have little stuff on the edges like it's just really pretty and beautiful and i want to cry thank you now we are getting into books that I have not read but have heard have good Ava Ace rep. So if I'm wrong about any of these, again, please let me know because I don't want to accidentally recommend something to someone, have them get really uncomfortable or, you know, have accidentally lied about a book. The first book is more of an approximate one, but I think that it still works especially for Ace rep and supposedly for Aero Rep 2, and that is This Savage Song by V.E. Schwab. This is a YA urban fantasy where violence breeds actual monsters, and we follow this woman named Kate who wants to be 
ruthless and cruel just like her father and a monster named August who just wants to be human. And it's just kind of about them like kind of deciding are they going to be good or bad, enemies or friends, that kind of thing. Supposedly, I haven't read it. But from what people have been saying, this one has a very hint of a romance, but it doesn't really have any romance in it and it's definitely not focused on it. So I think if you're okay with like maybe like hinting at a romance but nothing yet, that this would be a very good one. Don't know about the second one. The duology though probably has more of a romance if this one had a hint of a romance. So just a warning on that, but I think especially if your aces is probably good. The next book that I am recommending is Challenger Deep by Neil Schusterman. This book, from what I know, is supposed to be kind of a look into this man named Caden and kind of his struggle with mental illness. Um, I've heard it be called schizophrenia or psychosis, but I'm not totally positive on that. But that half the book is kind of his real life and half the book is not real. It's him on a ship and kind of just these two halves passing back and forth and kind of seeing his descent into mental illness and his struggle. When I was looking up this book, people were saying that there was not any romance, that it just focuses on his mental illness. I'm not positive that if there was anything background or if anything was mentioned. Supposedly there's not a romantic interest or anything like that, so I think this would be a good one to check out, and I've heard great things about this book in general. The next book is How It Went Down by Kekla Magoon. This is a YA contemporary that focuses on uh, racial violence. This boy named Tariq Johnson gets killed by a white man and the community obviously gets really broken about it and they're all really torn about what really happened because everyone seems to have a different interpretation of the events and how it went down. This book also apparently has no romance, um, just focuses on the community dealing with this struggle. And fun fact, I've met Kekla Magoon. I've read some another one of her books and she's a very wonderful person. So I would recommend looking her up because I really loved her as a human being. She was very, very sweet. The last book that I haven't read that I'm recommending is also one I have in print and that is Beshwe Beshween? Beshween? Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetus. This book is not related to Fifty Shades of Grey. I'm just gonna say that outright for all of you. We're gonna make that joke in the comments. This book is a historical fiction that's about this girl named Lena, I believe. Yes, Lena, who suddenly gets separated by Soviet officers and they get sent to kind of a work camp and it's just about her trying to survive and all of that kind of stuff. Um, from everything I've heard about it, there is no romance in this. It's just about Lena's effort to survive and about family and stuff like that. So I would recommend picking up. I've heard pretty good things about this one. Um, obviously I'm wanting to pick it up because I own it. Okay, so that is all of the book recs I have for you today. I hope that I was not incorrect with any of them. If I am, I'm very, very sorry. If you have any other book recommendations that are good for a romantic asexual rep, whether because they have those characters or because they don't have a lot of romance in them, um, please also leave them down below. I would love to see them. I know a lot of other people would probably like to see them. So if you've read any of these books, let me know if you like them or not. Side note, I'm very sorry that if you could hear a lot of noise, which from my because I didn't realize that the window was open and therefore you can hear other people who are appreciating the fact that it's no longer freezing cold outside. It's really important to remember that books that are accessible for queer people, especially in this case aromantic and asexual people, are just as important as books that have those characters in them because if it has a bunch of romance and sex in it someone who is aromantic or ace especially one who's sex repulsed or romance repulsed is not going to want to read it even if it has rep because it's not going to make them comfy so yeah just remember to hype up books that are accessible for all kinds of queer people and all kinds of you know diverse people in general thank you for watching see you next time Bye bye are just as important. Oh my fucking god. Don't be fucking weird. And just another loving. Are accessible. Oh my fucking god. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna get put in jail for murdering my roommate.